Держи, вы, во, 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 во. держи это место, держи. What's the reading now? 11,000. This is a, a thousand times greater than the normal background level of radiation. In New York or in, in Dublin and Ireland, we're on, in extreme danger now. Chernobyl was the world's worst nuclear disaster. Radiation from the accident has left a deadly legacy. Abandoned by parents, desperate and unable to cope, many were placed in baby homes and orphanages. Conditions in most were utterly shocking. All of the anguish, all of the suffering, all of the pain experienced by millions of people in Belarus stems from one instance of human error at a nuclear power plant. What Irish volunteers found here led to the founding of Chernobyl Children International. Their work has transformed the lives of tens of thousands of children. In recognition of its outstanding work, CCI was awarded official United Nations NGO status. The services it provides have reached almost one million children and their families. This is Andre and he's 12 years of age, even though he has the body of maybe a three or a two year old. And he was born with a number of genetic problems. This year, CCI needs to raise one million euro to fund its priority projects. Children from 300 orphanages in Belarus are sent to adult mental asylums when they reach 18 if they aren't capable of independent living. As new Chernobyl Children International Homes of Hope are opened, children from orphanages are now going to live with foster parents and not behind the bars of adult mental asylums. If I was to say what's in my heart, it would be a real belief that it's one by one we will shut down the orphanages. In Belarus today, parents, with help from Chernobyl Children International, struggle to keep desperately ill children at home. Мне надо досмотреть ребенка. Мне надо, пока он живет, чтобы я была с ним. In the spring of 2015, Victoria Doranova, born in war-torn eastern Ukraine, with a condition known as Chernobyl Heart had less than a year to live. On her first birthday, this Irish-funded flying doctor's mission saved her life. And would you believe we can actually save a child's life for $1,000, which is incredible. Today, Chernobyl remains a ticking time bomb. 30 years on, the task of caring for the children of Chernobyl continues to challenge the world. We need to keep coming and, you know, keep fighting to help change these children's lives. And it would be great if the international community would continue to, um, to work here for many years to come. Um, it's really important that Chernobyl's never forgotten. Thank you.